wholesome root. We are super excited today to be getting a good start on our summer planting. It's a little later than usual, but it is Mother's Day weekend, which is a pretty good time to plant, even in Georgia. I always like to tell Ryan and the kids that that's my Mother's Day present, is to get my garden planted. So whether I've planted a little bit or a lot at this point, they are supposed to pitch in and get everything done. The boys came out and played for a little bit and said it is too hot, and I agree, it is too hot. I let them go in, but Ryan and I are down in the lower garden at Miss Elsie's where we're planting our bigger crops. So last year we had very poor success with beans. We planted all bush beans and we never really got a lot of beans. So this year we're doing pole beans. We had a variety we picked at our friend's farm last year that were perfect for canning. Stringless, delicious, even when large. So I asked her what kind they were and she told me they were Seychelles, S-E-Y-C-H-E-L-L-E-S. So I got some so that we could plant some. But looking at the color of the seed, I'm not sure it is the kind that we picked. But hopefully it's a good one and produces well. First row is all pole beans all the way down to Ryan. Then we have some Asian cucumbers, some cantaloupe, and then I haven't decided yet on the next section. I know that I need to get my tomatoes started. We're doing the Florida weave for this section. So, got our little baby tomato plants. We're starting with our wild boar seedlings that we started from seed. And we are going to be planting them all along this length and probably another row's worth. We might not have enough T-posts to do it all, but we'll definitely get most of it situated. Ryan is running string to make some straight rows for his corn. So that whole section down there will be sweet corn and okra mostly. and deep so that they'll root along the stem. So I'm only going to leave a little bit poking out of the ground. Sorry, bug just flew into my mouth. That happens. <laughs> so anyway, I was gonna say, 
What was I gonna say? Bug distracted me. Oh, I was gonna say, it is really hot out here. I wish that we had gotten this done a couple of weeks ago, but we've had situations that have come up in our personal life that made it so that we couldn't do it the last couple of weekends. And the couple of weekends before that, it was actually too cold at night for me to feel comfortable putting tomato roots into the ground. We were still getting down into the 40s pretty late in the season. So I'm glad that we waited, but boy, does it make it hard to get out here and get everything planted. <laughs> All right, we have planted this row. We have planted this row. We have planted this row. We're in the process of planting this row. And I'm gonna go get some corn seeds to do these rows. All right, I've got a bunch of seeds down here. And that's what I'm looking for, sweet corn. We've got as much as we can done down there and now it's time to do chores and it's time for mama to put her feet up because yep. it's Mother's Day. I shouldn't work too hard and I almost passed out like six times. So <laughs> first though, I want to reward you, Ryan. Follow me. Follow me. I have a reward. It's something for you. So this morning I was looking at our broccolini checking for any caterpillar damage and I did find some early signs of itty bitty tiny caterpillars which I smooshed easily but then I found something I wanted to give to you I'm not eating a caterpillar nope I want you to eat that there you go Dada the very first broccolini I get to eat it yep just pinch off the top and let leave the sides to grow more broccolini it's a cut and come again type plant, okay. if you do it this way. Pinch out that big one in the center. Mm. I bet it's good. It's really good. <laughs> mm. I love broccoli and broccolini. Thank you. We are back at it this morning trying to get the garden planted. It's hard work in this hot heat, but it's nice that I have these wonderful helpers on my Mother's Day. Wow! You're a good helper, Odin. Ryan's my champion. What did you find? Worm. A worm? Yeah. Oh, nice worm. Are you going to put it in Liam's worm farm? Yeah. All right, save it for later. Put it in the shade. All right, we have all this planted in sweet corn. And then the last three rows are planted in okra. That's a lot of sweet corn and okra all the way up to where Miss Elsie's beds start. So the black pathways, that's Miss Elsie's garden. And then the rest of it, that's ours. And then we've got three rows of tomato. Ryan's planting the third row now. 
and all of the beans and long beans and snake gourd beans and canning beans and I intermixed everything along the base of the planting with flowers of different types. We've got some zinnia, some straw flower, some corn flower, some marigolds, some borage, some basil. I've got marigolds and basil and borage all in the, with the tomatoes. I've got some dill down there with the cucumbers. So hoping all these seeds germinate. So that means I've got to get them all buried and watered. So while Ryan finishes planting that row, which I will overseed with marigold seed and maybe some more basil, because you can never have too much basil. It is a sweltering hot Mother's Day out here planting this garden. But even though I don't have my Vivian here to help me, I still feel her in spirit. She called a little while ago to say Happy Mother's Day. And I just got to reminisce about all the times that she planted the garden for me. And then Dalton came by and he had a aloe plant he got for me for Mother's Day. And I tried to get him to plant with me, but he said, it's too hot. And the other boy said, it's too hot too. Liam came out and did a row of okra. So he planted my roses red okra, which is seed that we saved from last year's red okra. So hopefully that all germinates well and I can have him come out here and pick it and he'll know that it was from his hard work. get done in one weekend <clears throat> if you put your mind to it pretty pretty intense two days of gardening and we got a lot planted so although I haven't planted our upper garden up at the house in the raised beds I looked at the calendar and in two days we're gonna have another two days of where the signs are good for planting so on Wednesday and Thursday hopefully me and the boys can get a little bit more done up there it is a lot easier to work in the raised beds as the soil is made from pure wonderful compost and so it's real easy to work with so it should go very quickly just walking back over the beds and poking in any seeds that floated up to the top during the deep watering. We always water our seeds very, very deeply. Some of the big ones might float up. Bean seeds in particular, corn seeds sometimes. So I'm just walking through, making sure everything is doing what it should. I may not have gotten all of my summer garden planted, but I did get all of this lower garden planted. And I am so grateful and I cannot wait to show you guys how it evolves, changes, and grows.